Hello everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Mademoiselle Lina, and you can find me online at www.conjurenits.com. Today we are here to do the weekly forecast for August 30th through September the 5th, and we are going to be using the Spirit Keeper's Tarot, Vitruvian Edition by Benna Belwen. Before we get started, I would like to say thank you for viewing my video. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and click on the little bell so that you'll receive notifications of when I go live or upload new videos. I do try to stay pretty busy here on my channel. I do all 12 zodiac signs for the monthly tarot scopes. On Sundays, we have Conjure Crew with myself, Mambo Tanya, and the Black Bonnet Witch. On Mondays, I upload the weekly forecast. Every day, I do a card of the day reveal. On Wednesdays, we have the virtual book club. We are currently reading the Sword of Truth series by Terry Goodkind. It has been so much fun following Richard and Kaylin on their adventures, so you are definitely going to want to join us for that. I also pop on from time to time and do free readings, so make sure you get my notifications by clicking that little bell. All right, I feel that I have rambled on long enough. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Card number one. What spirit will be most present this week? And we have... The Scarlet Shield. Queen of Swords. He, the Queen of Swords, is a shorn one, a warrior priest who shall be your formidable line of defense as you charge forth confidently to face your battles. When the Scarlet Shield appears to you, he is making his presence known so that you might go forth into combat, taking your stand with might and confidence. When the Scarlet Shield appears, it is time for you to stand your ground, hold your position, and this warrior priest is here, ready to face the fight with you. The Scarlet Shield is not about attaining new knowledge, but rather it is about blocking distractions so that you can deepen your understanding of the knowledge you have already acquired. The Scarlet Shield is the key to transforming knowledge into experience and insight into outcome. Encoded into the Scarlet Shield's imagery is the story of Judith beheading Holoferns. You undertake what others are not willing to do and you do so for those you love and toward a greater good. The plight of others move you to take on a martial persona. The message from the Queen of Swords is echoed in the words of my great-great-uncle, George Bernard Shaw. Doing what needs to be done may not make you happy, but it will make you great. The design on the Scarlet Shield the Angelic Power holds up features an ornamental Meso-American-style mosaic mask made of precious stones of gold, silver, turquoise, obsidian, serpentine, amethyst, opal, and talismanic designs of a chimile, or defensive armament. The head imagery at the base of the shield is also a subtle reference to the head of Holoferns and the biblical story of Judith, which is often associated with the Queen of Swords. Above the mosaic mask is the depiction of an eagle devouring a serpent an important divine omen of establishing dominion under the blessing of the gods. This shield as a talisman confers the power of intellection, victory, and fortuitous good luck in all defensive battles. Behind the angelic power is a wall of adobe mud brick, one of the earliest building construction materials in global history, symbolic of methodical discipline behind the power, the strongest of protection and defense and ensuring barrier to entry so that what does not belong in the landscape of the Keeper's inner universe shall not enter. Here, the angelic power and Queen of Swords takes on features of indigenous American cultures in his revelation to you. At the bottom right in the foreground by the shield is a macahotl, a sword-like weapon from Meso-American civilizations, consisting of sharpened obsidian blades. The angelic power is dressed as a shorn one from Aztec warrior culture, wearing golden tilacuously armor that identifies the power's high rank. The headdress he wears indicates his priesthood, nobility, and prestige. The tattoos on his sword arm denote his victories. 
card number two. What is in my highest interest to make this week's priority? And we have Archangel of Mysteries, King of Orbs. The angelic title for the King of Orbs is the Archangel of Mysteries. Another one of her many names is the Archangel of Revelations. She reveals to you the sacred mysteries of revelations direct from the divine and confers to you the gift of prophecy. She is also known by her title Archangel of Revelations. She is a beneficent guide connected to the underworld, one authorized to act as an intermediary and mediator between the angelic realm still subservient to the divine and the realm of the fallen angels. She can also traverse through all of the lower realms to guide lost souls. The Archangel of Mysteries appears now because these qualities and powers of protection of hers are needed by you. In the Spirit Keeper's Tarot, the Archangel of Mysteries is the reigning archangel of your inner temple constructed through the blueprints of this tarot architecture. This spirit of the King of Orbs illuminates the darkness for you and appears now to assist you, who are about to traverse the realms of shadow. You are about to uncover great mysteries. This is the Archangel who protects you against all forms of darkness along your initiatory path of discovery. Her symbol is the illuminated lantern. Within her six-pointed lantern is a sacred orb. The angel who illuminates the shadow is entrusted by the divine to hold the most sacred of powers, to give life and administer souls from the formless world into the material. This is now the sacred power conferred to you. The Archangel of Mysteries is the divine and beneficent personification of craft, and when she appears to you frequently in your divinations, she is calling to you, for your soul is connected to the craft, to the initiatory path of revelations. With her lantern, she illuminates crossroads, she will reveal to you any presence of ghosts and the supernatural, and she is the great master of spells and incantations. The ears of corn symbolize the seeds of spiritual enlightenment through the erudite study of esoteric practices. She is an angel connected to the underworld, one authorized to act as an intermediary and mediator between the angelic realm still subservient to the divine and the realm of the fallen angels. She can also traverse through all of the lower realms to guide lost souls. The Gorgonane amulet in the bottom left corner of the card is a symbol of protection conferred by the King of Orbs. So when you are in crisis and the Archangel of Mysteries appears to you, the one of the spirit realms who has come to your aid now is a divinity of formidable supernatural power. The Archangel of Mysteries confers the power and capability to use logos and transform that which was hidden or intangible into that which is open to all, accessible, and tangible in physical form. The Archangel of Mysteries appears when the message is this, there is so much you still don't know, and that is unacceptable because you've been tapped by divinity to be one who does know. The angel who illuminates the shadow is the guardian angel over this tarot deck. She is the only angel to be seated upon a throne, a symbol of stability, of structured power, and the highest direct authority to transmit the divine word. Card number three. What do I need to be mindful of and prepare for this week? And we have stronghold of the veil. Page of Orbs. The stronghold of the veil comes bearing an important message to you or an opportunity about your assets and resources, money or business matters, and that which relates to your personal economics or industry. The symbols here are a wolf and apple blossoms. When the stronghold of the veil appears in a reading, the offer, events, or opportunities to come are ones that will help you to make your mark in your world. These are opportunities for establishing yourself. Perhaps there is a mundane matter you are facing at the moment or will face. The page of orbs may appear to you to offer insights on how best to navigate that situation. The stronghold of the veil appears when you need to hear whispers of counsel on what measures to take next. Of all the pages, she is most connected to the everyday ongoings of your world, of mortal and earthly life. The presence of the stronghold of the veil 
could also be an emissary sent by an underworld deity or a divinity of the earth. Perhaps it is Hades. Hermes, too, might appear here bringing prophecies of commerce, your area of trade or travel. The Page of Orbs might be a messenger sent by Persephone, or the Mater Larum, mother of the layers, a goddess of fruitfulness. From the Stronghold's message, the additional card you pull to supplement the reading, and your own inner light and intuition, you will know who is calling to you. The Page of Orbs brings a message that echoes of Gilgamesh and Enkidu. There is a lesson for you to learn about your situation from the Epic of Gilgamesh. While Gilgamesh, part god and part human, embodies the cultured, civilized, and refined warrior king, Enkidu, part beast, embodies the wildman or witch in the woods. Yet the two are equals, both with a dark stirring in their hearts. Though at first rivals, once they cooperate, together they set out on an adventure to slay the demigod Humbaba for glory. Before they depart, Gilgamesh's mother, the goddess Ninsun, adopts Enkidu as her son. When Gilgamesh and Enkidu enter the cedar forest, where Humbaba dwells, they perform dream rituals and receive prophecies of what is to come. With the help of the gods, Gilgamesh and Enkidu manage to subdue Humbaba, but not before he curses them. Ultimately, the two kill Humbaba and his seven sons, then return home taking with them as a giant cedar tree as a prize. Continuing their adventures, they slay the Bull of Heaven, or the Sacred Bull. In antiquity, the killing of the bull by Gilgamesh and Enkidu signified rebellion against the gods. Enkidu has an ominous dream where the gods say that one of the two heroes must die. In yet another of Enkidu's dreams, he is taken to the underworld by the Angel of Death. Ultimately, Enkidu does die and Gilgamesh deeply mourns his brother's death. The Page of Orbs is the goddess Ninsun of Sumerian mythos, the lady of the wild cows, and an interpreter of dreams. When she appears in a reading, there is a message for you encoded in the story of Gilgamesh and Enkidu, her two sons. By combining the cards from this week's forecast, I was able to come up with the I Ching of sun, debilitation, waning on the decline, a state of debilitation, that which is below must yield and decrease to compensate for that which is above. A sacrifice made sincerely from the heart must be offered as compensation. Although movement is in the decline, it is still advantageous for you to proceed forward on your endeavor. There are still benefits to be had in continuing. The question to ask is how one might achieve advancement in spite of the ongoing state of debilitation. You remain protected by the divine. Do not linger or dwell on a matter that has come to a conclusion. Do not fault yourself for the outcome. All right, my lovelies. Let's take a look at the bigger picture here. Card number one. What spirit will be most present this week? And we have the Scarlet Shield. This is the warrior card. He is here to help you face and get through a situation. Sometimes there are things that come up that no one wants to take care of. It has come down to you to nip this situation in the bud. It almost feels like something that has gone on long enough and has finally reached its boiling point. As a mother, I can't tell you how many times I have repeatedly told my kids to do something, only for it not to get done then I end up saying, screw it, and doing it myself. This week is that week. Take a deep breath and just do it. The Scarlet Shield is here to help you get it done. No more distractions or procrastinations. Card number two. What is in my highest interest to make this week's priority? And we have the Archangel of Mysteries. Whenever you face that just do it moment, remember everything that you have learned thus far Use all of the tools in your toolbox to complete your task. You already have the knowledge. I feel like the Archangel of Mysteries is here to tell you that it's okay to use whatever means necessary to get through this situation and complete this task. Use your magic, divine on the situation at hand, do your research, and do what you've got to do. Card number three. What do I need to be mindful of and prepare for this week? And we got the stronghold of the veil. 
Well, we already know that the spirit who is talking to us is the Archangel of Mysteries. Amazing, just wow. I feel like this week we are being plagued by petty little things that are trying to break us down. Please try not to let these little things break you down. If you let them stop you, they will compound and create bigger roadblocks on down the road. I know, I know, it seems like everything is going wrong. Almost like the universe is out to get you. But these are just small things. They can't break you unless you allow them to. Spirit is telling you to use your magic and intuition to get through these little things so that you can accomplish the big things. In fact, that is what has caused the big thing that is now at its boiling point. It's do or die. Take care of whatever it is that you have been putting off because obviously no one else is going to do it for you. This is going to be a week of growth for you. Protect yourself and those around you. And remember, Spirit is here to protect you and guide you along the way. I hope that this reading has helped you and will help lead you and guide you throughout the week. If you do feel that it has helped you and that it will help someone else, please feel free to share this video. Sharing is caring. And if you would like a more in-depth and personal reading, you can go to my website at www.conjurenits.com and click on the link at the top of the page that says, Book a Reading. I hope you all have a very beautiful and amazing week. Love you bunches. Shalom.